Hey folks, welcome back to the Rafco Gaming Channel. I'm your host, Robert Robbie Raff. Uh, we're on Miss Survival Season 4, and guess what just happened? A fucking gun. I had to use the M word for this. Okay, so I was searching that second barn. Um, like I said in the last episode, I was looking for the dresser. It wasn't there, so I hear a crash. This is what the crash was. I come over, I save a guy, he's in a military vest, and I get, wouldn't you know it, a fucking blueprint. Now, don't get me wrong, this is awesome to have a blueprint on day five. But, when you defeat a berserker, you get a blueprint. So, it's kind of, I feel like I'm cheating by having a blueprint this early in the game. But, hey, now I don't have to worry about it for the garage in, like, 30 days when I can build it. <laughs> Alright, so, we got the blueprint from there. I got a crowbar and a couple other things out of here. Oh, I want them. I don't know. There we go. I found a bucket and some gloves, miscellaneous stuff at the other uh, barn. No dresser, though. I'm going to feel like a real stoner idiot if I get back to my home and the dresser's there. But honestly, I don't, I, I, I don't remember grabbing it. Or maybe I grabbed it and left it somewhere. I, I don't know. Maybe I grabbed it and like put it halfway between the base and the barn or something and forgot about it. I'll have to take a more thorough look around later. <laughs> well, at least I have all the material for that. We put that freaking blueprint away. Won't need that for a while. Uh, put the shovel. That can go away. That can go away. More bottles. Do I have powder detergent in any of these? Yes, I do. We're going to need the powder detergent later um, to make It's one of the ingredients to make Molotovs. Which are super handy to have on this game. <laughs> which you guys probably figured out already, but hey. Right, so I'm going to start putting our components and our metal scraps in one locker. Matches. Oh yeah, because they're a different percentage. I, I can't stand that shit. It does make sense though, I gotta say. Alright, I'm just desperately trying to make sure that if I have anything stackable, that I put it with its counterpart. Ah, oh boy, cartwheels and shit. Those gotta come out of there, and potatoes gotta come out of there. Alright, so, potato can go in there, I can go in there, I can go in there. So, we still have yet to find the spark plug, of course. And we haven't found a dresser yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna build one of these, just a little nightstand dresser type thingamabob. <laughs> They don't really hold much, but I'm just going to use it for clothes anyways. Alright, what do we need for this? Eight wood and two components, alright. Jump over to our tools. Grab that. And grab one of those. again. <laughs> Alright, get this thing built. Now we have to put all the clothing items that are sucking up space in these over there.
Alrighty. There we are. Takes care of that. Frees up some space for us. Oh, well, that's done a rat. Pop these away. Actually, no, wait a minute. Give me that bucket. We can go like this. Do we even have... That's something that we should build. Yep, and we don't have one yet, so... Let me go over... Ah, where are you? Ah, here we go. Water barrel. There we go. You know what? We can fit one of these right in the frickin' house. Why not? Let this whole big ass supply room back here. I'm gonna put it here for now. We, I can always move it later. Alright, four components, eight wood. Get this thing built real quick if we can. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get the whole thing built. Saw and hammer. At least it'll be close to being done. Mm -hmm. So we're going to need some more wood. Ten nails, which nails we can make right at the workbench. I believe they're made using scrap metal, but I believe we also need... Yeah, I'm going to leave that scrap metal there. But I'm fairly certain we also need a uh, component as well. Uh, we're about to find out. Yep, yep, we do. Now it's one scrap metal, one component. Okay. Not too bad. So we're going to head out. <sighs> I can stop ashing all over my friggin' keyboard. My keyboard, little handheld keyboard thing, my Bob. <laughs> Alright, so let's go destroy a car. <laughs> Any other time I have spark plugs coming out of my fucking ears, but because that's the only thing that we need left, we have yet to get it, so of course, you know, we have to go there. Can you imagine somebody coming down your street with an axe and just walking up to your car and doing this? Excuse me, buddy, what the shit, what the fuck are you doing to my car? Well, bro, I need a few boxes of tools and some scrap metal, so um, I'm beating the hell out of your car. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, well, we got more than enough now. We're down under a minute, though, so this is where I'm going to conclude our little video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, be, be sure to be on the lookout for more exciting and boring videos at times. <laughs> Uh, until then, we'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.